years, the place where you are standing now was the site of huge inter-clan gatherings. They came here to trade, to form alliances, for marriage, to settle disputes, and to feast on eeyuk, eels, in spring. Smaller gatherings still happen today. Welcome, friends of Nam, the land of the Wurundjeri people. And now, let us hear the story of the creation of the Dilewurrung, the platypus. The waters of the mighty Bidurung, the Yarra, flowed as one, but the animals who lived there were divided. The other end lived the Banya Dayan, the water rats. Dulam parents told their ducklings never to visit the Banya Dayan because they were dangerous. And Banya Dayan parents told their pups never to visit the Dulam for the same reason. For many years, the Dulam and the Banya Daya lived at opposite ends of the Birra, divided and afraid of each other. One day, a very special Dulam duckling was born. As she reached childhood, she began to ask questions like, if these Banya Daya are so dangerous, what must they look like? When her parents had their backs turned, she slipped away and headed up the river closer and closer to the bend, behind which the Banya Dayang lived. But when she reached the curve, she stopped. She was too afraid. She turned and paddled back to safety as fast as she could. The next day, her curiosity had only grown. She couldn't rest until she saw a water rat. Mustering all her courage, she crept back to the bend in the river, held her breath and paddled round into Banya Dayan territory. Splash! She spun round. Behind her, a young Banya Dayan popped his head out of the water. His whiskers just a paddle stroke away. Her heart leapt into her mouth. She powered home as fast as her web feet could carry her. Tides later, when her heart was beating at a normal pace again, she realised something. She couldn't get the water rat out of her mind. She began to ask herself questions. Was the Bunya Dayan really so monstrous looking? So dangerous? So evil? When she pictured him, all she could see was the kindness of his smile and the twinkle of his eye. Finally, she had to admit it. She yearned to see him again. She paddled back to the curve in the river, this time with long, confident strokes. She turned the bend, eyes darting, searching for the water rat. And there he was, the same smile on his lips and the same twinkle in his eye. They started to play. She did not return home, nor did she the next night or the night after that. Among the Dulam, the story was told of how a headstrong duckling had gone to the Banya Dayang end of the river and died. The parents warned the young never to make the same mistake. And then one day the missing duck sailed back around the corner. Every Dulam stared as she came around the bend. But 
even more surprising than seeing her alive was what was behind her, the group of babies. These babies were a strange mixture, something never seen before, something between a Dulam and a Banyadaya. Seeing these creatures with their duck mother on one side and their water rat father on the other, the watching Dulam was struck by a truth. It was possible for the Dulam and the Banya Dayang to live together. It was not only possible, it was wonderful. celebration the elders proclaimed a new name on the babies. They called them Dulengurum or Proud Lips. Many times later, after the moon had risen over the Bidarang many thousands more times, men from distant lands arrived here. They called the animal Platypus.